In this section of the second grade fractions unit, students will count fractional parts beyond one whole using linear and area models and will use a set model such as a group of objects to determine fractional parts of a set. Materials include fraction bars, fraction area models such as pizza pieces, and manipulatives to represent parts of a set. One misconception students have is thinking that fractional parts can only be counted up to one whole rather than recognizing that more than one whole can be considered. For example, when presented with two pizzas that have each been partitioned into halves, the student can only identify the pizzas as two wholes rather than also naming the pizzas as four halves. To help this misconception, when naming fractional parts beyond one whole, students should begin by counting the fractional parts one half, two halves, three halves, four halves. In addition, students should compose the fractional parts that make up the whole, naming it as a whole with the remaining fractional parts. Students will use a linear model to count fractional parts beyond one whole. Present Brainicam fractions to students or provide at least two sets of fraction bars to students. Using the red one whole, model partitioning the whole into two halves. Ask students, how many equal parts are there? Two. What fractional part is the whole partitioned into? Halves. Tell students that two halves equal one whole. Model the same process with fourths and eighths. Four fourths equal one whole. Eight eighths equal one whole. Fractional parts can be used to represent more than one whole. Present three halves to students and ask, how many one halves are represented? Count the halves. One half, two halves, three halves. There are three halves. Two halves compose one whole, and there is one more half left. Three halves is the same as one and one half. Present six fourths to students and ask, how many fourths are represented? Count the fourths. There are six fourths. Four fourths compose one whole, and there are two fourths left. Six fourths is the same as one and two fourths. Present nine-eighths to students and ask, how many one-eighths are represented? Count the eighths. There are nine-eighths. Eight-eighths compose one whole and there is one-eighth left. Nine-eighths is the same as one and one-eighth. Students can use the fractions beyond one whole student sheet to continue naming fractional parts beyond one whole. Students will use area models to count fractional parts beyond one whole. The whole pizza is partitioned into eight equal parts and there are eight total parts. The pizza has been partitioned into eighths. Students should count the fractional parts and should recognize that eight eighths compose one whole. When presented with fractional parts beyond one whole, students should count to determine the number of eighths that are represented. There are 11 eighths. 8 eighths compose one whole, therefore 11 eighths is the same as 1 and 3 eighths. Repeat this process with halves and fourths and allow students time to practice representing fractions beyond one whole using area models. Students will use a set model such as a group of objects to determine fractional parts of a set. Mr. Gonzalez is going to let his class play with the balls for recess. What fractional part of the set does each ball represent? what fraction of the whole set of balls is represented by soccer balls. First, students need to determine the total number of objects in a set before they can identify what each part represents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight total balls in the set. Each ball is one eighth of the set because there are eight total balls in the set. Then students should determine what fraction of the whole set of balls is represented by soccer balls. There are two soccer balls, so the soccer balls are two eighths of the set. We see three basketballs, the basketballs are three eighths of the set, and three footballs, which are also three eighths of the set. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Elementary Math Minute. We hope you'll find these videos helpful and we look forward to you joining us next time. See you then.